Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In a previous video, we've gone over how to pass, but today we're going to talk about serve receive, and they're a little bit different. On serve receive, the ball's coming a lot faster and it's going to be moving around. So we're going to teach you how to put together your platform angles to make sure that you can execute a good pass when somebody is serving. The most important thing on serve receive is to make sure that you move your feet first and you keep your hands apart until you're right about to pass the ball. Because when people serve, their goal is to make the ball move and float. So if you put your hands together too early, you're gonna be in trouble. So to start off, I'm gonna show you how to create some nice passing angles on a ball that is served neutral, hip height, and a little bit in front of you. There are several opinions about this out there, but I am of the belief that it is not necessary to make sure your hip is completely around the ball when you're passing. In my opinion, the most important thing to think about, other than feet first, hands last, is to make sure that your platform or your forearms where you're contacting the ball is facing your target. If you allow your forearms to face the target, everything else will work out because the ball will understand that angle instead of you working to get your hip around. A really good starting position for serve receive is body weight forward, knees slightly bent, and hands apart. As we're passing neutral balls to our right, we wanna make sure that we're taking a step with our right foot, keeping our hands apart until we're just about to pass the ball. We want to make sure that we're going forward to meet the ball instead of letting it come to us and slightly hold the finish of the pass. The same concepts apply when the serve is coming to the left side, except this time the step is with the left foot. Notice that my feet are not crossing over at all. Whatever side the ball is served to is the foot that I am stepping with. Now we're gonna work on what to do when the ball is coming high or deep at your shoulder or chest height. You always wanna make sure that you're creating space between your body and the ball because this is what's gonna help you push the ball forward. So to do that, you wanna think about taking a drop step. So whatever side the ball is served on, you're gonna take a big step backwards. This will get your body away from the ball. You still want to be really late with your hands, but you're going to step, hands late, and make sure that the forearms are facing the target. On a deep serve, to, make, to be able to do that, you have to dip your shoulder to allow the forearms to face the target. So you can toss the ball deep, drop step, hands together, create the angle. passing a high ball, whichever side the ball is served to is the foot that we take the drop step with. So if the ball is served to the right as it is here, I'm taking a big step with my right foot, creating the space between my body and the ball. My hands stay apart until I'm just about ready to pass, and then I manipulate my body by dipping the shoulder so that my forearms face back to the target. If the ball is served a little further than expected, start by taking the strong drop step and then shuffle out of it to cover more ground. By hold the finish, I mean to keep your hands together for just a split second post pass. This gives the ball a very nice soft trajectory, which makes it easier for the setter to set. The last pass we're gonna work on is a short pass. Now, so many athletes, when we see the ball coming short, we put our hands together and we run after it. But since we've been practicing taking steps first and hands last, that means we will run to the ball normally, get our hips underneath the ball, hands together, lift up. Because you're so close to the net and to keep the ball on your side, it is so important 
to make sure that your hips are underneath the ball and you're lifting up with your legs, like you're coming up from a squat. So run, hips low, hands together, lift with the legs. As you can see on these short balls, I'm making sure to get to the ball with my hands apart like we talked about. My hips are under the ball and I'm lifting up with my legs. The other important thing is to make sure that you are stopped. Because your momentum is carrying you forward and you want the pass to go up and down, it's really important to make sure that you come to a complete stop so that you can lift the ball and keep it on your side. All right, you guys, those are the basics on serve-receive passing angles. If you have any questions, please be sure to let me know in the comments. And until then, I would love it if you would like this video and subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more volleyball-related content. Thanks.